see him in the little apple of Manhattan. And boy, offense has been at a premium here in this contest. Oklahoma not shooting that great at three for 14. Kelvin Sampson's trying to figure out a way for his club to shoot a better percentage. And Kansas State still just one for seven. Well, you think about it. If Oklahoma would make a few shots, they could blow this game open early. Mm -hmm. This is a real test for Kansas State. And putting up the three is Anton Hubert. And that's a big start for him, Dave. Excuse me, because he is a shooter and a scorer. And the thing he has struggled with shooting the basketball, they would like to get him on track. That is their first basket in eight minutes. Minor. Boy, that's the shot he was hitting with regularity last year. That's so soft and so good. Hard to guard at 6'7 when he shoots a fadeaway. They will stay in the 3-2 zone. I was going to say that this is a big test for Kansas State especially. They beat Iowa State here in their big eight opener on Saturday night. But this is stepping up a notch to play the Sooners, and this will really give them an indication of where they stand in this conference. Well, in the preseason picks and the polls, and they don't mean a whole lot, Kansas State was picked to finish seventh, and they started well. Here's a good pass. Hatcher needs to finish that play. Made it a lot tougher if he just had gone up underneath, laid it off the board, would have had an easier basket. Kansas State had a tremendous win against Iowa State. They need to play the Oklahoma if they want to step up and get in that upper end of the Big 8 conference. As you mentioned, this is the Big 8 opener for the Sooners. They are at 8 and 4 right now. And Coach Sampson said we could easily be at 10 and 2. Had a tough overtime loss to Florida in which they led by 16 in the second half. Also lost a tough one to Texas Tech earlier this year. Rhodes is fouled by Miner. Well, interesting, Oklahoma, when they got back defensively that time on the missed shot on their offensive end, went to a man-to-man -man defense. What's in race, Sean Rhodes is a freshman. He comes down, but he's 6'10". He goes to the basket, three inches taller than Ryan Miner, picks up the foul. Now on the other end, Sean Rhodes is guarding Ryan Miner, a freshman versus a senior. I would think the Sooners will try to get Miner to come off some picks. Now, Rhodes, as you mentioned, just a freshman. The Wildcats were thinking of redshirting this kid. But he came to Manhattan an inch taller, 20 pounds heavier, and he just basically forced himself into this lineup. How many coaches across America would love to have that happen? An inch taller, 20 pounds heavier over the summertime. <laughs> How many players would like for that to happen? <laughs> yeah. Well, they've gone back now. Tyrone Davis will guard Ryan Miner. Ryan Miner will move all over the court. I'm not sure Tyrone Davis can move with him. And Miner's trying to post him up. That's maybe not the spot he needs to be. Yanish had it blocked. They're going to call a foul on Rhodes. Sooners attacking the freshman Rhodes. Good post up by Yanish. He makes a move. The problem was he puts the ball right into the shot line. Boy, it looked like a clean one to me. Giannis has really struggled, especially in the foul department this year. In the opener for the Sooners against Jackson State, he had 17 points and 14 rebounds. That's in one game. Those are both career highs. Since that game, Giannis has just 14 points total and nine rebounds. And here's the kid last year you kind of thought he was coming on, doing better and better and played some big ball game. They will need his production as the Big 8 season wears on. He gets one of two at the line. 13-6 Oklahoma. Back to the zone defense. One time in the man-to-man, -man, they went back to the zone. Hubert now the point. He'll put it up top of the key. That's a two. Anton Hubert. He's come off the bench with five points, a real spark plug for these Wildcats. Well, when you're a shooter, it only takes one to get going, shooting 30%. He's two for two. Miner has it go off the foot of Davis. Foster tracks it down. Foster knifing his way into traffic. Nice move. Well, now the teams are starting to heat up a little bit from the field. Forces one up over Giannis. Yeah, four shot. Rhodes set a pick for him, but he forced a shot. Let the big guy come play and then go by him. Good passing in 
inside. Foster to Giannis. Outstanding move. One thing K-State is allowing too much penetration, too much in the lane. Boy, Foster has really picked up the pace for the Sooners over the last seven or eight games. I think he really has a handle now on what is expected of him from his coach, Kevin, Kelvin Sampson. Another steal, another turnover. Erdman, tough pass to handle. Foster puts it up. Well, he makes up for his own tough pass. Well, Tyrone Foster right now is an early MVP. Makes a tough pass, hard to handle, but he gets it back. Makes up for everything when you knock in the jump shot. 20-second timeout for Tom Asbury and the Wildcats as the Sooners have forged in front by 11 their biggest lead. Well, Kansas State has been their own worst enemy. Six turnovers against the zone defense. That normally doesn't happen. Oklahoma's been aggressive with the zone defense. But Kansas State is dribbling inside with it, trying to penetrate in the air, losing the basketball. That allows Oklahoma to push it out on a fast break. It should be an interesting Big 8 race this year. Kansas looks to be the class of the field right now, and they had an impressive win in Stillwater last night. Kelvin Sampson, despite bad back and all, is still coaching his heart out right now, and he's got to like what he sees so far from the Sooners. Well, he likes how, and his ball clubs play hard. You know they'll play hard. They'll switch some defenses up. They'll do some different things to get going. What they need just is a little more continuity, a little more time together. They'll be fine. It's going to be a good conference season. Sooners are hot, too. We mentioned the Wildcats winning seven straight. Oklahoma's won seven of eight. Hubert can't get it to go from the wing. He tries again. Nope. And quickly get it out to Giannis. He tracks it down and then has it stolen by Schwarzenrober. There's some spark off the bench. Well, they like Swartz and Druber off the bench, and what he does, he loves to push the basketball. That time he took it two on two and just stopped and knocked it home. That got the crowd into it for the first time. The lob too strong for Miner. And we've got a timeout. Asbury loves his bench right now. They've scored eight of the ten Wildcat points. It's their turf. It's well, the Sooners have a nine-point lead, but Aaron Schwarzenberger and Anton Hubert are trying to bring the Wildcats back. Coming up this Saturday on the Deuce, it starts in the ACC with Florida State and North Carolina State, then some women's hoops action as Massachusetts takes on Rhode Island. It's a quadruple header because after that, it's Arizona and St. Joseph's, followed by New Mexico and Wyoming. It all starts at noon Eastern this Saturday right here on the Deuce. Well, they've had enough timeouts to finally kind of draw diagram plays that would work against his own defense. K-State trying to move more, trying to move a guy baseline more, move the basketball, trying to penetrate it inside and kick it outside. Here's the foul on Evans. Look at his hands checking, pushing. They're going to go to Tyrone Davis because once he catches it, he's awfully difficult to stop. Now Abercrombie, he comes back into the game for the Sooners, but he's got two fouls. Better ball movement by the Wildcats. Great passing inside. Outstanding play by Mark Young. He faked it on the baseline, went in, made the little dump off. So two straight buckets by the Wildcats have pulled them within seven. Miner, boy, tough shots for Ryan Miner. Well, not a good shot. He's missed a couple that he would make, and then he's forcing some, and that's some of the weakness of Ryan Miner. He gets frustrated a little bit too early, and he'll take some bad shots. That one for you, John. I had it. That's why you're no longer in the NBA. You don't have the <laughs> hands anymore. I'm just glad that Coke didn't go all over <laughs> Protection is what that was, Dave. Protection. We talk about protection. How about Samson? He needs some protection over there. If the players ever get loose and oh goodness some kind of a loose ball situation it's gonna be tough for him to get out of the way that's a real danger turnovers uncharacteristic for the Wildcats to have that many again Miner can't seem to get the range well Ryan is now one for six again the force he's trying to get a little bit of contact and get to the foul line he just has to be a little bit more patient he's one of the best players in the country 
Here it is. He's aggressive. He's going to it. He just can't get it to fall. Actually, one more step, one more harder bounce and harder step, and he makes a layup. Foul trouble now for the Sooners. Abercrombie has just picked up his third. Let me tell you what Kelvin Sampson said about Ryan Miner when I asked him about him earlier this week. So we've done a good job of getting Ryan the ball where he wants it. You can't fault Tyrone Foster. Ryan's just trying too hard right now. He needs to relax. He said, I'm sure he will. Well, that's part of it. You just have to relax.